his right hand behind his back and completed the play all with out losing a step that was a great move by Jeremy Pargo Tyler Smith's going to try it again dribbled himself into trouble again last touch by Tennessee halftime so he's played much better in the second half and he's got his team to lead now by one ball loose JP Prince trying to flag it down and goes in and he's fouled and that for Gonzaga because that's only the first on him and not for on day yeah. everly improved Little push shot got the second one. 11 for Prince. And well, we are tied. Well, you don't want to catch it there, Brad. Full court pressure, and Gonzaga fortunate to get it out. Now you got to hustle back at the three on one. Wayne Chisholm took. And it's negated by a foul first. Tie ball game. As Chisholm goes up, rebound. Handle by day. Chisholm has taken three or four jump hooks, hasn't knocked any of them down. We played this much basketball and haven't been tied until now. Chisholm's got another rebound. And Tyler look Smith looking out to Tatum. Tatum thought about it. Now gets it to Tyler Smith. And it's to be cleaned every week a couple of times. But you notice he, does, he never goes with the blue shirt. It's always the white <laughs> shirt, which is a very smart move by a, a perspiring coach. But Zag is 7 out of 17 from the free throw line. That's killing them right now, or they'd have maybe not a comfortable lead, but they wouldn't be tied, that's for sure. Prince. Oh, I don't know about that shot. That wasn't the shot. Off of one pass, contested without rebounding. Gray for three. Bolden keeps it alive. And he walked with it. And when you get control of that ball, you got to catch it, chin it, and face the defense and make a play. Bobby Mays with a teardrop. It didn't go. Chisholm with a rebound. Still no good. And Dale cleared off. Under four minutes, 68 apiece. And so I just got to make. Tennessee guard here and the ball screen's been effective switch off as Smith takes Fargo oh he's wide open and that leaves day on Mays big height advantage on the baseline rebound Chisholm well, you don't want to turn around jumper fading away against a smaller man that's where he's got to back him down and get in there and get to the rim Tennessee wisely waits for help. It was about a two on five. And now Mays will set things up. For the two three zone again. Mays the kick out. Tatum working against Day. In the lane with a scoop shot. Still won't go. Out of bounds to Tennessee. This hasn't been a pretty effort for Tennessee, but it has been a hard fought 68 68 time. Remember, they're trying to get a little bit of payback from that game just 38 days ago. In the Old Spice Classic, when Gonzaga won it back on November 30th. You know, both teams just trying to get their mojo back right now. Tatum, oh, the three rimmed out. Hype Belt and Day, loose ball, everybody scrambling. Oh. Gonzaga basketball. Session. For sure. Prince on Bolden. Bolden with 22 points. Leads the Bulldogs in score. 15 on the shot clock, 2 14 to play. Bolden squares up, fires in the jumper. And that was a contested jump shot. You know, Gonzaga's got to set screens when they're on the offensive end. They were just running past people on that. If they set screens, they're going to get good shots, and this is a, a good shooting team. Chisholm, been big in this second half, leaves it for Tyler Smith, and it goes! Something's got to be your friend there. A little bit of English. Yeah, a little bit of English. The rail was his friend. Three-point play. Tennessee by one. Crowd up. 143 to go. Now 
Nice slip of that screen. Beautiful cut by Heitfeld. Heitfeld was setting the screen. Stephen Gray coming off it. Everybody worried about Gray. They left Heitfeld wide open. Now it's almost starting to get the look of one of those. Whoever's got it last might win. Sticking with the 2-3 zone. Tyler Smith in traffic will dribble out of it. Bobby Mays, long three. Nope, not even close. And Josh Heitfeld. Senior out of Clarkston, Washington. And he just silenced the crowd. <laughs> he missed the second. Rebound, Pargo had it and kept it. Now it's time to run some clock. You want to probe and see if you can get something easy, but... Got to run it down to about 12 and then get into a set. Gray got it by Prince. 15 on the shot clock, 47 to play in the game. Trouble in there on the dribble. Mays almost had it. Bolden off the glass. Too strong. Who's ball? Tennessee. Wait a minute. The officials are going to change it. One's going to overrule the other. Remember, Tennessee very good on inbounds plays defensively. And, oh, and really pressuring it. And a lot of times other teams will panic and throw a bad pass. Now the middle of this zone, if Gonzaga stays in it, is where you've got to attack. We've got a half minute of basketball left here, at least. It's like Gonzaga going man to man now. Tyler Smith in the lane. Scoop shot! Oh. How did that go in? 73-73. Final 20 seconds of regulation. And Gonzaga going to go without a timeout. They don't want to let Tennessee set up anything defensively and regroup. Going to hold it for the last shot. Under 10. Bolden guarded by Prince. Gets a screen. Bolden in traffic. Didn't get it. Chisholm did. The outlet. Tyler Smith at the buzzer. We're going to overtime.